What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. It is live for 45 at 6 a m. Get on up, y'all. Welcome to the Spark Channel, man, for Live for 45, where on Tuesdays we do a devotion, some hot topics, and we give you some reliable exercises at the end, y'all. So remember, personal trainer, health and wellness professional, fitness professional, all of the above, um, definitely um, going to make sure that you get uh, some foundational exercises that you can start working on as soon as today. But first, we have to make sure we recognize the uh, ones that's given us life and breath every single day. And that is God and Jesus, y'all. But we have an amazing, amazing topic today. So if y'all need to do so right now, go get your water. Uh, because uh, we're going to be in for a good one today, y'all. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get that water. I got my water, and mine is in a spark bottle. If you don't got your spark bottle, go and get your spark bottle, y'all. Go get your spark bottle. This is what reminds me of my spark mentality, all right? And that smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Welcome to the Spark Channel, y'all. All right. Uh, we're going to take about another minute, give some more people some time to come in, um, just so that y'all can make sure that we are all getting this word together and no one else is uh, missing out on it. All right. So let's do it. Welcome to Live for 45 at 6 a.m. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. How have y'all week been so far? How has it been so far? Hopefully your week has been um, good. Uh, mine has been awesome, but, you know, um, I sense, and as you know, uh, when you are, you know, living out your purpose or you are moving in a positive direction, the enemy is always going to try to come in and disrupt something. Always. But as long as you got faith, that's how you can keep moving forward, y'all. All right. So let's talk about the, let's talk about, um, the topic today. What's going to be our topic today? All right. First, we're going to get into a uh, verse. Let's talk about a verse today. So the verse for today is going to be commit to the Lord, whatever you do. And he will establish your plan. Again, here we go. Commit to the Lord, whatever you do, and he will establish your plan. Y'all listen, this is a very crucial, crucial, and that's Proverbs uh, chapter 16. Uh, sorry. That's Proverbs chapter 16, verse three. All right. Um, remember, commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plan. So there's a lot of times that we go throughout our day where, <clears throat> you know, we feel like we got to take matters into our own hands, especially during times where um, the enemy tries to be at his busiest or the enemy tries to utilize people within your circle or people within your network to 
um, or people within your environment to distract you from your purpose or from your goal. And a lot of times those distractions can comes in comes into a form of distractions. It could come into the form of your mental and emotional state. It could come into any type of form that can try to distract you and knock you off your path. Okay? Those are some of the most crucial moments where you want to make sure you give it all to God in Jesus' name so that you can continue to move forward as it relates to God's plan for you. You have a purpose. You have um, steps that um, God and Jesus has already ordered for you. So you have to make sure that you uh, give it all to God, give it all to the Lord so that the Lord can establish your plan. You don't want to establish your plan. OK, um, there, there, there may be situations where you probably um, are having some financial issues or you are probably having some emotional issues or you probably just kind of going back and forth on a particular goal or mindset that you um, are truly, truly driven for or driven towards. And the enemy has found a way to distract your focus in that area to cause you to try to take matters into your own hands rather than wait on God in Jesus name to um, give you what you are seeking. OK, the moment where you decide to uh, take matters into your own hands. That's like you're pretty much telling God and Jesus that you're tired of waiting on them. Okay, so you don't want to tell God and Jesus that you're tired of waiting on them, do you? More than likely, probably not. 100% probably not. Uh, but your actions and what it is that you're doing is probably speaking that of self. As if you're tired of waiting on Jesus and God to answer your prayers or to come when you feel like you want them to come. You have to wait on God to respond when they are gonna respond. There's probably so many things in your life that you can probably think about right now that uh, you can probably see as miracles in your life. There's a lot of things that you probably cannot see as miracles in your life. and. When you really take a deep dive and look at those particular uh, things that have occurred, either if there is positive, if there was positive or if there was negative, which ones do you think are most closely tied to the enemy? And which ones do you think are most closely associated with God? And I think if you was to do that, you would be able to identify a pattern of uh, how the enemy tries to distract you from God's plan for you. Okay. You have to give it all to the Lord so that he can make your plan. You don't want to make your own plan. You want to go according to the plan that God has for you. All right. So, uh, I hope hopefully that light sits with y'all and, uh, you know, you really understand the value of just overall giving it all to God, man. Give it all to God, man. And, you know, some, some of y'all out there are dealing with some job situations where the job probably laid you off or the job probably uh, gave you, you done something that's just unfavorable. Some of y'all are probably dealing with relationships, uh, uh, barriers or breakups or divorces or, uh, you know, trauma that came from your past. Uh, some of y'all are probably dealing with, you know, your own family issues, your uh, intermediate family, the family that you grew up with. Uh, you're dealing with those type of issues. Um, and mind you, those are issues for a reason. You know, they're issues because they are issues, okay? They're issues because they come from the enemy. 
Okay? The enemy only puts issues within your path to distract you from what God is trying to do for you. Let me say it again. The enemy is putting issues in your path to try to distract you from what God has planned for you. So for example, if you have a job situation, if you're someone that's being laid off, if you're someone that's being targeted, if you're someone that's uh, being uh, mislabeled or misguided at their job, you know, um, take that for what it is. Maybe that's your time. Like, Maybe you've done your time, or maybe the enemy is utilizing those particular folks in your job to distract you from what you can be doing at your job. Maybe that's another trick of the enemy that's trying to uh, get you to feel like uh, you're not worthy enough for what it is that you're trying to accomplish within your organization. Have you ever thought about that? How can you continue to have faith in God that God is going to handle whatever it is, whatever, whatever term oil that's going on, whatever term oil that's going on, God is going to handle it. And many times uh, the enemy can try to utilize what's going on at your job to get next to your family. And your family is where? At your home the next place where you spend most of your time. You spend most of your time at home. So the enemy tries to plant seeds over here in your work environment to impact you to try to then bring back home, which is going to plant more seeds if you allow it to, to negatively impact your family and how you're operating in your home. So be very careful on um, not establishing or not realizing what's at play whenever you come against a barrier or a challenge or any stigma that tries to get in your way of living out God's purpose that he has for you. And let's say you don't even probably know your purpose, right? So you're watching this for a reason, right? So you you didn't just turn on a YouTube and watch this for a reason, you know? And I truly believe that. And I truly believe that God is speaking through me to you. Yes, you probably come here for the exercise. But look at what's going on. God is speaking through me to you right now. And I really need you to just uh, kind of slow down a little bit, just slow down because we can just be so busy. We can be just so busy with life, man, uh, with all the challenges that life can bring or that the enemy brings within the earth. Jesus is on earth to save us from that stuff. You know? So we have to follow Jesus. God sent his own son down on earth to help us through these challenges that we are just constantly dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Are you dealing with them or are you going away from them? Are you dealing with issues and challenges or barriers? Or are you going away from the issues, the challenges, and the barriers? If you're going away, then that means you're probably on the path of following God's word in Jesus' name as it relates to your lifestyle. If you're dealing with them, then you're probably battling with 
your attempts of following God's word in Jesus name or remaining comfortable with the enemy. Which one are you doing? Are you going away from the issues and the challenges? Or are you dealing with them? Only you can answer that question for yourself. But what I do know is, is that um, life can be challenging, life can be hard. But, um, you know, I'm living proof, man, that um, God will perform a miracle in your life. When he is ready to answer your prayers. And when he's ready to answer your prayers, he's gonna give you something greater than what you have ever could even imagine or even ask for. And when you decide to start being grateful for things that you already have, you will see one, how blessed you are, two, how blessed you are, three, how blessed you are and for how saved you are. And I wanna say your blessings and how saved you are because uh, God is with you every single step of the way. Even, even, even during times where you are not uh, the best person God is with you every single day. And there's always the opportunity to connect with God and talk with Jesus. And just to make sure that um, you are making the decisions that's appropriate for uh, your purpose in life. God is always there with you by your side. Just like right now, God is there with you right now. Believe it, God is there with you right now. So just slow down. Try not to be so busy with the things that life throws at you. Or try not to be so busy with, uh, try not to be so busy where you are too busy for God, where you are too busy to uh, devote some time to God or dedicate some time to God. Um, in our Sunday prayer on um, this past Sunday, we talked about uh, uh, praying. Uh, what's the best way to pray? Um, and we learned that um, David in the Bible um, had three different um, things that he did to devote himself and dedicate himself to God. And one of those ways was through prayer. And the way he wanted to go after God's heart was one, by prayer, and two, by dedicating every single morning to God. And when David prayed and dedicated those uh, times that he devoted to God every single morning, um, he didn't just pray and leave his prayers at the door and just went on doing his own thing and went on he didn't just stop at the door and say, hey, God, help me with this and just leave. Impatiently waiting on God to respond. He didn't do that. He showed up at God's door, made a commitment. And every single morning, every single morning, he was dedicated to God and he gave that time to God to speak with God to be after God's heart just like he would as if it was his friend as if it was one of his best friends 
he was communicating with God. Even during times where he probably didn't need God. Didn't need God's help. But David treated it as if it was his best friend. And God is your best friend. He is your father. He is the almighty. He is worthy to be praised. And the fact that you're sitting here right now and you're listening and you are intaking the message that God is saying to you through me, oh my goodness, you have everything to give nothing but thanks to God for the breath you're taking, for your vision, for your ability to touch, for whatever sense that is that you have left. Hearing, smelling. Give thanks to God, man. In the Bible, we learn that only 10% of people come back to give thanks to God for the blessings and for the miracles and for everything that God has done for them in their life. God shows up in many different areas, y'all. God shows up in many different areas. And a lot of times he shows up in different in uh, different people to communicate with those that he loves. And those that he truly knows still has a purpose within them. That's still living. That's still alive. That's still kicking. That's still breathing. That's still moving that's still active, that still has a spark. Through all the challenges, all the pain, all the headaches, all the um, uh, delays, all the hinderings that they have already gone through in their past. But now that they're still here, God shows up in different ways and forms to connect with those that still have a spark to live out their purpose you still have a spark to live out your purpose no matter what someone tries to put in front of you no matter how much uh, uh, challenges or stress things comes your way or tries to hinder you you still have a spark that's deep inside of you that you can get to relight it you can re-spark it if you just ask God for help Truly, genuinely, ask God for help. Pray, ask God for help. The enemy is going to try to tell you something otherwise as you're listening right now or as you hear me talking to you right now. The enemy is trying to tell you something other than what you are uncomfortable doing, which is probably praying and asking God for help right now. The enemy is probably telling you something else that's going to try to discourage you and get you to not do what it is that you haven't done yet and turned it over to God because the enemy don't want you to live out your purpose. The enemy don't want you to uh, be in a better position. The enemy don't want you to accomplish what you want to accomplish. The enemy don't want you to live your very best life with that amazing spark that has been hidden for so long. The enemy don't want you to relight that spark. 
because that enemy know when you have that spark lit and others start to see it, more people are gonna find their spark to weather whatever storm that they are going through. Listen, you are probably going through some uh, form, shape, or whatever you want to call it. You're going through some type of storm and probably don't know how to get out of it. Or you've probably been, or there have been seeds planted in your past that probably make you feel like you can't go anywhere. You can't get out of it. You have been, you have gotten chains wrapped around your wrist, wrapped around your foot, where you feel like you're in shackles and can't even move, go nowhere. Listen, I'm here to tell you that God will break all of those chains. God will break all of those chains. No chain is stronger. No chain is stronger. No chain is stronger. In God and Jesus name. Listen to me, I need you to really, truly Take this time that I'm about to give you. Pray. Give all of those challenges over to God in Jesus name. I know you may feel like you get distractions when you pray or anytime you try to do this, this happens. Anytime you try to do that, that happened. But let's be really, really intentional and ask God for help to break those chains. Let's break those chains and let's start walking. Let's get up stronger. Let's ask God to break those chains. But you have to be transparent, you have to be real, and you have to be unedited in what you provide and give out to God for help. Let me say that again. You gotta be transparent you have to be real and you have to be unedited with what you go to God for and what you're asking him for and what you are hoping to receive. Whatever you decide to lay at God's doorstep in the time that I'm going to give you, allow that to be every, allow that to be the most crucial thing that you truly need help with. And then we're gonna use another time where we ask God to give us the faith that God got it. To allow you to release the anxiety, the trauma, the discouragements, the negative results that comes along with um, not having faith. That God got. It. All right. So let's take about three minutes here. And we're going to think about and give 
our challenges, our struggles, our uh, headache, our uh, past, our comfort or what the enemy has presented to us or whatever is holding you back only you know what's holding you back let's give those over to God before we ask God to increase our faith or to help us have faith not increase help us have faith that God will have it moving move forward y'all alright we're gonna take three minutes get your water if you have to we're about to do it all right, you can take 10 seconds, get your water. We're about to do it. That was longer than 10 seconds, but okay. <laughs> All right, John. So we're gonna take um, three minutes while we give all of our challenges and struggles and stuff like that to God. And genuinely though, right? So if you're if you're just doing it to be doing it, I encourage you to not do it because God don't want you coming at him like that. Truly go to God when if you really need help in this area, in the areas that you need help in. Alright? Don't do it just because I'm telling you to do it, but do it because you want to do it deep down. Alright? But at the end of the day. If you do decide to do it, I'm sure the enemy is gonna try to get you to not to. And I'm sure the enemy is gonna try to make you feel some kind of way by doing it. A little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. So if you don't give it all, give a little bit. Cause that's a great start to God being able to see that his child is coming back home. His child is ready to get removed out of those shackles that they have been in for a very long time. You got this. You got this. You got this. All right, y'all. In five, four, three, two, and one.
All right, y'all, we back. Um, I'm sure there was some, probably some distractions within your time that you were uh, connecting with God there. Uh, the enemy can definitely be busy in reality, physically, as well as mentally and emotionally. Uh, uh, so uh, I hope you gave a little something to God if you didn't give it all. And we can we can we can work on giving the rest of it to uh, God as we continue to work together uh, through Law for 45 and making sure that you are uh, well connected um, in this uh, space. So this space is totally safe uh, with you. Uh, you can feel free to just be yourself, man. Uh, uh, so yeah. Uh, so these next couple minutes here. Uh, we're going to take some time now that we gave it all or a little bit of something to God. Uh, now is going to be time that we um, ask God to give us faith that uh, he got that particular area that we decided to give over to him. OK, now when we give something to someone, we don't take it back. OK, so if I if I give you some chips, okay, we're gonna do a healthier version. <laughs> if I give you some broccoli, <laughs> hopefully you like broccoli. In a perfect world, you do. I'm not gonna take that broccoli back because you're not eating it upon my time. That would be wrong. That would be rude of me to take something that I just gave you because you're not using it on the time that I want you to use it, right? So we just gave God something. We just gave God some, uh, some really key things that's probably bothering us, that's probably holding us back, that probably has us bottled down um, at home or um, in public, uh, or that just causing us to be hindered in a space where we just don't want to be um, delayed, we gave that over to God. So a way that we could take it back is if we decide to try to move on our own accord for what we decided to give to God and pray to God for. We just ask God for help. So let's not take it back through our own actions, y'all. So, in this next three minutes, let's ask God to increase our faith or to give us faith that we will wait on his response because we know that his response is gonna be something so much greater. Take 20 seconds, get you some water because we're about to do that. Okay, you got this. Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Get your water. All right, y'all. And then three. Two, one, we're asking God to give us faith that he got it. And go.
All right, y'all, we back. Um, hope you guys gave it um, all to God. If it wasn't just a little something, uh, pat yourself on the back for giving up, for giving something to God, and now you're asking God to give you faith that He has it. Okay, uh, and uh, and that can like that can that can probably like suck to God, y'all. If you think about it, like. You know, uh, uh, he has to remind you that he has it when he's already given you life. He's giving you breath. He sent his own son down on earth to be on earth with us to save us. But now he's reminding you that he has it. That goes to tell you right there, it's such a blessing to be able to talk to God whenever whenever you need him. He's always there whenever you need him. Because he loves you unconditionally. And sometimes we have a hard time doing that in our own life. Loving people unconditionally that shows you that God will always be with you you know that song he may not come where you want him but it be real right on time I say Hey, hey. <laughs> you may not come when you want it, but it'll be there right on time. I said, <laughs> that's one of my songs right there, boy. You may not come when you want it, but he will be right on time. I'm telling y'all, he always on time. He always on time. So, all right, y'all. So we gave. We gave our challenges to God and then we asked him to uh, improve our faith. Now let's ask God to kind of manage our emotions and behaviors going forward. All right. So we're going to take a minute and do that before we get into your exercise that I'm going to give you for a lot for 45 so that you can make sure you stay healthy physically and emotionally. All right. So we're going to ask God to help us with our help help manage our emotions and our actions because um, we can say one thing we can say we follow God we can say we um, want to live out our purpose but through our actions is where you will see that your word is true all right so help Let's ask God to help us manage our emotions and our actions that could come along with making a commitment and decision and a decision to follow God's word in Jesus name. Because I'm telling you right now, whenever you make a commitment, whenever you make a commitment to follow God in Jesus name. The enemy is trying to set up a booby trap for you. The enemy is trying to set up a roadblock for you. The enemy is trying to plan and plot what could be do next to get you to feel any kind of way where you don't take the steps that you made a commitment to take. Okay? So let's ask God to manage our emotions and our actions going forward. Let's do it.
All right, y'all. We back. Uh, I hope you ask um, God to uh, manage your emotions, manage the stress levels that can come your way, manage the actions that you will uh, likely take in your path, because through your actions is where uh, God is able to see that you are actually living out what you truly believe. All right. And um, just continue to do it. Start somewhere. You got to start somewhere and God will accept you just like he accepts you every single day where you are. All right, y'all. Hey, man, that's the uh, topic today. That's the uh, word for today. Live for 45 at 6 a.m. And always remember. It's what we talked about today. Just go right back over it as we're getting done here. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plan. All right. All right, y'all. That's the topic today. And always remember, you have a unique spark and do not lose it. We gave our challenges over to God, and you probably haven't done that. And but that is a such a huge and amazing, amazing step to finding your spark, to weather whatever storm that you just decided to give over to God, and having faith that He's gonna show up right on time. I wanna say thank you for joining and congratulate you for taking that amazing, amazing, amazing step in your life. All right. Hey, y'all, we're going to get into the exercise now. I'm going to show y'all the exercise real quick. Uh, so just going to keep it simple. All right. So uh, I hope that word blessed you, first of all. Uh, we're going to do a prayer at the very end after I give you your exercise prescription. All right, you ready? So go grab you a pen, paper, notebook, whatever it is that you have. Uh, go grab it. We're going to write these down. And if you want to be held accountable, feel free to contact me uh, or my wife, uh, Andrea, on Facebook. Instagram, or you can go to our website. All right, so Facebook and Instagram, Dwight Weathers or Andrea Weathers. All right, and our website, www.findyourspark.com. That's www.findyourspark.com. You'll be able to find the link in the description below or above, wherever it is. We believe if you are driven, you will do. If not, you will make an excuse. So if you want to find that link, you will find it. If you want to find out how to contact us through that website, you will find it. All right. So uh, navigate the site. Check out our amazing Spark products. You will really love it. I would definitely say you got to get your water bottle or your spark bottle. It does really well with hot and cold beverages. Uh, look at your uh, hoodies, your T-shirts, your hats. Uh, we got some journals in there for you. We got a lot of different products that can help you find your spark in your health and wellness path. Also, check out our mission and vision. OK, our mission and vision we're trying to build was called the Spark Community that will help people just like yourself become even better if you feel like you're already better. All right. So, hey, y'all, uh, that community is going to be filled with so many people that's constantly trying to get better every single day. But we're not perfect and we're all there to help each other. All right. All right, y'all, the exercise is hope you got your pen and paper by now. Here we go. First exercise. I want you to do some jogging, okay? You're just jogging in place. 
you're jogging in place, okay? And I want you to be jogging for about, I say a good one minute, okay? You're gonna jog for one minute, okay? After that one minute jog, I need you to just to get into a squat. You're squatting, okay? And I'm not gonna stand up and do a squat because I want you to squat the way that you know how to squat. But try to get full range of motion. That's where you uh, will squat where your legs is almost parallel to the floor. And you get that full range of motion in your hips, in your hip area to come back up. All right, so full squat, range of motion. All right, so you got your jaw, you have your squats. And then after that, I want you to get into some jumping jacks, okay? Not just any old jumping jacks, not, not the normal jumping jacks. I want you to do straight jacks. You're gonna be going up and down like this. Legs coming out, okay? Legs gonna come out just like that. Not like this, okay? I want you to really activate those scapulas in your back muscles, um, and you're gonna be um, activating your anterior muscles in the front. So, um, from jogging, to squats, to straight jacks, then I want you going right into some awesome push-ups, okay? All of these moves you're doing for one minute, and this is your fourth move. I want you going right into some push-ups. You can do push-ups on your knees, you can do push-ups on your toes, whichever variation that you feel will give you the most uh, bang for your intensity level or uh, whichever intensity uh, fits your body type, that's what I want you to do, okay? For those push-ups, either on your knees for some assistance or on your toes for even more of a challenge, okay? But either variation will give you that level of tolerance that you're looking for, just because you're gonna be pushing yourself within that one minute, okay? And after you do that, I want you getting up from that push-up position. And I want you standing up, hands come all the way up, and I want you going back down into a straight plank. Then you're standing back up again, reaching up, going back down into a straight plank. Okay, I gave you five exercises. All right, that's five exercises to remember. You got your jaw in place for a minute. Then you have your squats in place for a minute. Then you have your jumping, I mean your straight jacks in place for a minute. Then you got your push-ups in a replace in, in, in place for a minute. Followed by your awesome stand-up straight up and get back down full planks okay you got this uh, let me know how y'all do with that um exercise routine um and you know what i'm gonna get up and show you because i kind of sense that uh some of y'all want to see visuals so i'm gonna get up and show y'all um the uh exercise that i just gave you all right here we go. Get this out the way. All right, so I'm gonna get back here. All right, y'all, we back, we back, we back. All right, so first thing I want you to do is jogging. You're jogging, boom. Okay, you're just doing regular jogs. Turn to the side. After the jogs, you're going into squats. Notice my legs come parallel, parallel to the floor. After that, you're going into straight jacks. Bring the hands down, up. 
doing straight jacks. After the straight jacks, you're getting down into those push-ups. Okay, you got one minute push-ups. Down, up, down, up. Got that for one minute, then you're standing up. Hands go all the way up. Step it back, full plank, stand back up. Full plank, stand back up. And after you're done with the exercises for four sets of one minute each, just gonna stretch it out. Stretch out the arms and muscles that you worked and you will be amazing. All right? Hey, y'all, uh, that is the end. I'm gonna do a quick prayer for you guys. God, please, thank you so much for bringing um, the uh, Spark Life 45 community together. Um, please, please guide their faith, guide their actions, guide their emotions in everything that we do, God. Uh, please help them remain faithful in everything that they gave you today. And I hope they understand and help them understand that when they give something to you, they don't take it back. They don't take it back. They live out your word in Jesus name by any means necessary because they know that when the enemy is at play, the enemy is going to try to disrupt and destroy their purpose that you have for them. God, please help them make sure that they maintain their spark, find their spark, get their spark, go get their spark, go get their spark and find their spark deep inside of them. Just like you have allowed me to do so, God. And please, please, please continue to help me, my family, my loved ones, my friends, as well as the viewers, family, friends, and loved ones, God, because they matter. Help them to see that they matter, God. Um, uh, thank you so much, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, y'all, that is the end. I'm so glad that y'all was here. And thank you so much for joining Live for 45 at 6 a.m. And always remember, you can have a spark and that smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect and knowledge. But you have to protect it with the faith, a strong faith in God and Jesus name. All right, y'all, if y'all don't have a church home, y'all check out Evolve Church. Um, it's a church home that me and my wife and my stepdaughter go to. And we want to make sure that we pretty much introduce that to you guys if you don't have a church home. If you do have a church home and you want to try out another church home, check out Evolve Church. We highly recommend that for you. Um, you will you will feel amazing. OK, um, um, if you do have a church home, great job. Stay in it. Keep going uh, because we want you to do what works for you. All right. Love you all and see you all on Wednesday for our recovery exercise, because we getting right into it. All right. Love y'all. Peace.